Bill Mack is on the road leading our Total Eclipse team coverage. Bill joins us live now from Hopkinsville. Good afternoon, Bill. What's the atmosphere there? And welcome to Hopkinsville, where it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. We hope for this kind of day on Monday, when, of course, Hopkinsville and all of western Kentucky becomes Eclipseville. The center of the eclipse, the greatest eclipse, will be occurring right outside of Hopkinsville. We'll be out there for you on Monday. But I'll tell you, right now, you look behind me, it's just basically a, a street festival going on. There is going to be a party of, for the ages out here in Christian County. But this party has a very special conclusion. The Great American Solar Eclipse is just days away. Few events have generated this much excitement and goodwill among literally millions of people. While older folks may remember the eclipses of the 1970s, there are a couple of generations, including nearly all of today's University of Kentucky students, like Molly Malone, that have never experienced a total solar eclipse in the United States. But just the thought of a total solar eclipse can inspire wonder. Since I was about five years old, I've planned on this eclipse, and it's kind of crazy that it's approaching so soon. I mean, for it to be a month away, I remember thinking 2017 was years from anything in my scope of, you know, reality. Molly, along with a team of UK students, have been working with NASA to launch weather balloons with cameras and equipment that they've engineered to live stream the eclipse from the edge of space, 100,000 feet up. Now, while there's lots of science going on, the faculty director of the project, Dr. Suzanne Smith, helps them realize the uniqueness and majesty of the great American eclipse. It's such a rare occurrence, and they don't go around the globe chasing eclipses. And for us to be here in Kentucky and have this here, it's, it's just such a neat and special moment in time. Molly, along with everyone else, won't have to wait 38 years for the next total eclipse. Kentucky will be in the moon's shadow again just in 2024. And the greatest American eclipse of them all, with over six minutes of totality, will be in 2045. And what you're looking at behind me is the quietest these streets are going to end up being because literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people are going to be descending on Hopkinsville and throughout western Kentucky. That, my friends, is going to create a traffic nightmare, but we've had a lot of chances to plan, and hopefully we've got the folks in place to make everything run smoothly. To find out more about that, let's send it over to Claire Crouch. Downtown Hopkinsville is filled with eclipse excitement. In fact, we're told the first campers got out on their spot this morning at 1 a.m. And we're told 19 different countries are represented right now here in Hopkinsville. It is a party in Eclipseville, so come on down. Months and months of planning are finally paying off. And so far, things have gone off without a hitch. The eclipse still three days away, but that's not stopping world travelers from enjoying some southern hospitality and a little end of summer fun. From Canada to Madrid, Spain, folks are flocking to Hoptown. And for Eclipse coordinator Brooke Young, this event has been a labor of love. She says she's happy to see Hopkinsville thrust into the spotlight. It's kind of surreal, you know, you think about all of the planning and preparation that's gone into this event and all of the individual organizations that have come together. And it truly is just an incredible opportunity for our community to showcase to the world what a wonderful place this is. And of course, one of their biggest concerns here is all of the traffic. So coming up, we're going to have a more detailed report on their plan to keep things moving smoothly here in Eclipseville. Bill, back to you. And again, downtown Hopkinsville, fairly quiet for the moment, but this will be changing dramatically, not only later tonight, but throughout the course of this weekend. Of course, we'll continue to have complete coverage of the great American eclipse when darkness comes to daylight. We'll do that throughout the course of the weekend. And coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to introduce you to a UK astrophysics grad student from Bath County. It's a really interesting young woman you're going to meet here. From Hopkinsville, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Mack. Thanks. You think Bill's pretty happy there right now? I bet he is. Oh. You know he is. <laughs> yeah, we'll be checking back with Bill and Claire later tonight on LEX 18 News beginning at 5. That's right. Now, meanwhile, meteorologist Seth Phillips joins us now with a preview of what the eclipse is going to look like here in Lexington on Monday. Hey, Seth. Hey, absolutely. Absolutely. We are talking about how, what the conditions will be. What you, will you be able to see if you're not in that path of totality? Well, obviously, not the full eclipse, but there's still going to be some pretty interesting things happening outside. As far as what we're going to be seeing the conditions look like, well, we are going to be sitting under a ridge of high pressure, so it's not necessarily going to be completely sunny outside. We will have some clouds to deal with, but the good news is 
there will still be that chance to see it. In fact, cloud coverage is looking like only partly cloudy as we get throughout much of the day. So you'll see the clouds build. You may see a few showers, maybe, but that's well out west. Everybody else is going to be staying pretty nice and dry. The heat, the humidity outside will be there, so still pretty summer-like. But as far as the conditions, what it's going to look like, things are going to be absolutely beautiful, absolutely great to be viewing the eclipse from wherever you are. Just make sure that if you're not in the path of totality, you do have the proper eyewear and you wear it throughout the entire eclipse. Now, as far as what the weekend is going to be looking like heading up to that, well, pretty hot and humid. We are going to be getting some high pressure outside, so we're not necessarily going to be losing all of the cloud coverage, but it will still be a nice weekend to be outside. Getting through the weekend into Eclipse Day, don't expect anything really in the form of rain shower activity as the high pressure stays full. And then as we go into next week, the middle of next week, we might see some showers and storms. We'll, of course, talk more about this in your full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Great, Seth. Thanks. Well, Hopkinsville may get the best view of the eclipse, but you don't have to travel far to experience A it. A lot of viewing areas have already been set up in Lexington, and hundreds of people are expected to attend. LEX 18's Carolina Buchek continues our total eclipse team coverage. Well, it may not be that perfect view that Hopkinsville will get, but here in Lexington, we will see 95% of that eclipse. So you really don't have to go far at all. And here at Thoroughbred Park, all of this space will be filled up on Monday with hundreds of people with their eyes on the sky. The sound of the usually loud fountain at Thoroughbred Park will likely serve as just background noise on Monday. Hundreds of people are expected to be at the park, all looking up at the changing sky. I don't actually know what it's like to have the sun just disappear in the middle of the day. And many people don't want to miss it. To help everything run smoothly, the city set up three viewing areas in Lexington, McConnell Springs, Raven Run, and Thoroughbred Park. Regardless of where people choose to view the eclipse, they'll need these special eclipse glasses. And right now, they're not easy to find. I tried to order them on Amazon, and I could get a fairly inexpensive glasses that would be delivered on August 22nd. <laughs> but since people will need them on the 21st, the city is able to help out. At all three of its viewing locations, they'll have the glasses available. But of course, they're limited to. We have 200 at McConnell Springs, 200 at Raven Run, and 600 uh, for Thoroughbred Park. from Carolina there. Yeah, just we'll get a little back bit. There, hopefully. She's practicing, I guess, for the eclipse, maybe. <laughs> well, you will be able to uh, see the eclipse from anywhere in Kentucky. That's the cool part. No matter where you are, you're going to be able to experience this. But if you want good company, lots of places are offering up special events on Monday. Fayette Mall, one of those places. They're hosting a viewing party complete with glow-in-the-dark t-shirts from Kentucky Branded. An EKU physics and, an and astronomy professor will be on hand to answer questions at EKU's observation deck in Richmond. They will also be selling protective glasses for $3 a piece at the E.P. Tom Sawyer State Park in Louisville on Monday. For a complete list of viewing events, head to our website, lex18.com. And a lot of that sounds like fun for your kids, right? So a lot of schools will be out Monday so students can see the eclipse. Here's a look at some of the biggest schools in our area. Fayette County, Clark County, Madison County, Harrison County, Montgomery County, and Mercer County schools will all be closed Monday. A lot of other schools will dismiss early or delay that dismissal altogether. And you can find that complete list with all the schools and their special plans Monday on LEX18.com. Well, we continue our coverage of Monday's Eclipse tonight through the weekend, and we'll have a special live broadcast beginning Monday at 2 p.m. And look for our complete Eclipse coverage online 24-7 at LEX18.com.